I'm looking at the Electube brake rotor module and we're going to go through page 6, the brake rotor thickness measurement. Question 1 asks us what the minimum thickness of this brake rotor is and that's stamped on the rotor as 28 millimeters. Next question has us move our measuring jaws to the right side of the brake rotor and next we need to slide our adjustable jaw to the left side of the rotor. We need to measure the thickness of the brake rotor. I'll tighten our, uh, our jaws on our vernier caliper and we need to find out how thick this rotor is. To, to read a vernier caliper, we need to find the whole number that's either lining up with or just to the left of this zero. These are our whole numbers, so this is 30, this would be 29, and 28. So I've got a whole number of 28, and the next step is to find the vernier scale that matches uh, perfectly with the hash above it. And in our example, it looks like this 2.5, is going to match up perfectly. So we have a total thickness of 28.25 on this brake rotor. Next, we need to slide our jaws open, remove them from the rotor, and we notice on question six that we can spin the brake rotor to measure the thickness in different points. On question seven, we're asked to measure the thickness of the brake rotor at all four of these places and answer what the thinnest spot on this brake rotor is. All right, so I'm on spot one, and again, we need to get a measurement on this one. We'll move our caliper on, tighten it down, and I need to find the whole number to the left of the zero. That's still 28, and it looks like I've got a 28.5. So 28.5, we'll start there. I'll move over to the next spot, place our caliper back on the rotor, and on this one I'm still at 28 and it looks like about 28.8 so we have 28.5 and 28.8 we'll keep going to our next spot on the rotor set our caliper uh, on this one I've got 29.2 so we are thicker than the 28.5 that we had uh, earlier that was our smallest so far we'll move to our last measurement point, slide our caliper closed, and it looks like I'm again at 28.8, around 28.8. So I believe our thinnest spot on this brake rotor is 28.5 millimeters. We'll go to our next question, and we're going to measure and find the thinnest place on this brake rotor one more time. All right, we'll start at our first point, close our caliper, tighten it, uh, find my whole number. This is a 29, 28, 27.5. So I've got 27.5, maybe 27.55 uh, millimeters on this one. So that's a little bit thinner than our minimum spec, 27.55. We'll probably want to remember that. We'll turn our rotor to the next test point. I'll go backwards. Uh, this one is 28.5. So we're still at 27.55 is our, our current thinnest spot. Move the rotor to the next location. Uh, looks like we have 28 on the nose. So 27.55 is still our thinnest. And my last measurement point looks like 27 points. 55 27.55 seems to be our thinnest spot on this rotor and again that's under spec this rotor needs to be replaced we've finished the lesson we can go back to our uh, next module